Hey, machining enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll take a look at the process of CNC turning, which is among the most common machining processes. What exactly is CNC turning? Well, it's a machining process where a lathe machine rotates a workpiece while a cutting tool gives it the desired form. The term CNC means that it's all controlled by a computer. Your intricate KD designs need to be translated into a language the CNC machine understands. Once that's done, it's time to fire up the CNC machine. Turning involves rotating and spinning a workpiece as the cutting tool starts to chop out pieces of the material from the exterior. Usually, the machined material is cylindrical or round. Though in some cases, especially when using a compatible adapter, turning can function well for materials of varying shapes. There are several types of turning operations used in many industries to create sophisticated parts. Let's explore the six most common turning operations. Straight turning. Straight turning is the bread and butter of CNC turning. It involves cutting along the length of a workpiece to create a straight cylindrical surface. This operation is fundamental for producing components like shafts, pins, and rods, where a uniform diameter is crucial. Knurling. Knurling is all about adding texture or grip to a cylindrical surface. It's like adding a pattern of small, diamond-shaped indentations to the material. This is commonly seen on handles, knobs, or any surface where improved grip is needed, like on tools or machine parts. Taper turning. Taper turning is that when the diameter of the workpiece gradually changes along its length, creating a tapered shape. This is handy for making things like cones, wedges, or even just adding a slight taper to a cylindrical part for better fitting. Threading is essential for creating screw threads on a cylindrical surface. It's what gives screws their ability to fasten things together. Whether it's creating internal threads, like inside a nut, or external threads, like on a bolt, threading is crucial for many mechanical assemblies. Grooving. Grooving involves cutting narrow channels or grooves into the surface of a workpiece. These grooves can serve various purposes, from allowing fluids to flow in machinery to providing clearance for other components. Grooving is often used in conjunction with other operations to create more complex geometries. Drilling. Even though drilling might seem more associated with sand milling, it's also incorporated into CNC turning. Drilling involves making holes in the workpiece, whether it's through holes, blind holes, or even counterbore and countersink holes. It's essential for creating openings and passages in cylindrical parts. Now let's explore the differences between CNC turning and CNC milling, as both are forms of subtractive manufacturing. First off, the main difference lies in how they remove material from a workpiece. In CNC turning, the workpiece rotates while the cutting tool remains stationary. On the other hand, in CNC milling, the cutting tool rotates and moves across the stationary workpiece. Now, when would you choose one over the other? Well, CNC turning is ideal for creating cylindrical or rotational parts. So, if you need things like shafts, pins, or cylindrical molds, turning is your go-to. It's also great for symmetrical parts since the rotation ensures uniformity. On the flip side, CNC milling shines when you need more complex shapes or features, like pockets, holes, or slots. Think of it this way. CNC turning would be perfect for shaping the main body, while CNC milling would be better for adding intricate details, like grooves and patterns. We've understood the difference between CNC turning and CNC milling. Now, let's take a look at a wide range of parts that rely on the turning process. Shaft components. Shafts of various lengths and diameters are commonly produced using CNC turning. These can be found in countless applications, from automotive transmissions to industrial machinery, pins and dowels. CNC turning is perfect for creating precision pins and dowels used for alignment and fastening purposes in mechanical assemblies. Bushings and bearings. Bushings and bearings, crucial for reducing friction and wear in rotating machinery, are often manufactured using CNC turning due to the process's ability to achieve tight tolerances. Hydraulic and pneumatic components. Valves, pistons, and other components used in hydraulic and pneumatic systems often require intricate shapes and precise dimensions, making CNC turning an ideal choice. The list doesn't end there. 
There are countless other examples where the CNC turning process plays a crucial role in the part manufacturing process. Okay, that's all of today's video. Are you ready to bring your designs to life with precision and efficiency? If yes, then we are your perfect bet. Consider exploring Rapid Direct's CNC turning service. With state-of-the-art technology and a team of skilled professionals, Rapid Direct can help turn all your ideas into reality. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in manufacturing and technology, make sure to subscribe to our channel.